Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Today we're doing number 21 on the new general curriculum math subtest. This is a great problem. It involves algebra and algebraic word problems, and uh, it's got some cool stuff in it. So let's read it over together and sort of work through some of that math. Here we go. I'm always going to, whenever we have an algebra word problem, I'm going to read it over and identify the central image so I understand what's going on in the problem. So number 21, it says, a home product store sells two types of grass seed. A 50-pound bag of bluegrass costs $165. A 50-pound bag of fescue costs $108. In a particular week, the store sold eight more bags of fescue than a bluegrass. The income from the bags of bluegrass was 294 less than the income from the bags of fescue. Which of the following equations could be solved to find B? the number of bags of bluegrass sold that week. And then we have a series of equations here. And we're looking for the equation where on either side of the equal sign we have expressions that are equal to each other. So we're looking for these, the one right here where this expression is going to be equal to the one on the other side. Now, um, it's important when you read these over to understand the central image. Like, we have this store, and the store is selling grass. That's what's going on. That's If someone asks you, what's happening the problem? Well, it's a store selling grass. So we have a problem where there's a store, it's selling grass. And the image of grass, um, they describe grass as bluegrass and fescue. Right? Now, uh, some teachers are looking at this and being like, I have no clue what bluegrass or fescue is. I'm just like, what is that? And, and it's irritating me, Chris, because I use fescue multiple times through the problem and bluegrass, and, and that's confusing me, and the, I'm more confused, which makes math harder. And I understand that. I do. But you've got to remember this. It doesn't matter what type, what bluegrass is and fescue is. You just simply have to make the connection that it's a type of grass. Everyone can connect to that. If you need more, well, you could Google it. For example, let's do that now. What exactly is bluegrass in states? This is your lawn grass, or a grass that you might see on a golf course, or a field, or a public park. They're just two different types of grasses. Very, very common. But do I think this is in general knowledge? Not really, only if you have a lawn. But um, if you don't have a lawn, just and I don't have a lawn, I want you to make the connection that when they say bluegrass or fescue, think of it as the type of grass you see in a yard. Let's keep going. To help us work through the math in this problem, we're going to create a key to help us better understand what's going on in the problem. And I think this is always important whenever dealing with algebra word problems is to do this strategy. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my key. I'm going to identify numbers and values and expressions and variables that, that appear, like for example, B. B is a, a variable, and it says here B is the number of bags of bluegrass, right? And in this first line here, it says uh, the store sold eight more bags of fescue than bluegrass. So eight more bags of B would be B plus eight, and that would be the number of fescue. And it tells us here that bluegrass is, costs $165. So I'll do $165. That's the cost for the blue. And 108, oh, that's, an, that's the cost for fescue. All right. Then we get to this sentence here. The income from the bags of bluegrass. And it says here the income from the bags of bluegrass was $294 less than the income from the bags of fescue. Now, this is important because that word income, it's, I don't think it's very clear, but it's talking about total income. Total income, or really, total, total money made from the fescue bags sold that week and from the bluegrass bags sold that week. Now, we can figure out the total money made from fescue. We know that fescue, it costs $108 per bag, right, from our key, so we could do $108 times the number of bags of fescue. Oh, that's the, the B plus 108. And this right here, the total cost per bag times the number of bags of fescue, 
This equals the total income of fescue. And we could figure out bluegrass too. Well, it's it's the it's the 165 per bag times the number of bags, which is B. This gets us total income. And and we're told that it's $294 less than fescue. So if we wanted to make these two expressions equal to each other, we'd have to go to the bluegrass, and if it's less by 294, we'd have to add 294. And guess what, team? Bammy whammy, we just matched up using a key, thinking through the problem. We came up with, we built, we reverse engineered an equation that could help us solve for B. Look at this. Look at A. A is the answer. This is the cost per bag of fescue. This is the number of bags of fescue. This right here represents the total income made that week from selling bags of fescue. This right here represents the total income made from selling bags of bluegrass. And this is what we'd have to add to the bluegrass total income to equal the fescue, to make these quantities equal. Okay. So making the key, you got to think of it as a comprehension strategy. As you make it, it's going to help you build that equation and think through the right answer. And by making it, you'll be in a better spot to spot the right answer. Uh, if we were to just use our insight onto these variables here, you could be like, hey, like let's look at C. Oh, I know what this is. This part I know represents the, the number of bags of fescue. But we're not adding 294 to it. No, 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 no. We'd have to subtract the 294 because this one's already more. You cross that one out for those reasons. Or maybe you're looking at this right here and you're like, oh, this right here? Oh, I know that this represents um, the 108 goes with the bags of, uh, of fescue and the B goes with the bluegrass. That doesn't make sense. Or this one right here. The, the 165 goes with the bags of bluegrass and, and the B goes with bluegrass, but then we're minusing 8. Oh, wait, that's all messed up. So that's another way of working it through. Okay? All right, team, this is a tricky problem. The answer here, though, is A. I hope you like this problem. It's very fun, very cool. Watch it. Read it over. See if you can do it on your own. Identify the central image first. Use the key to form the equation. And then walk through the meaning of each one of the expressions that make up the equation. All right, team. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.